everyone. My name is Hannah Cannon, and I serve as the secretary for the OAV, and I've been in this role for the past year and a half. My name is Fran Lynch, and I am ABOC certified. Hi, my name is Cassie, and I'm a licensed optician in the state of Massachusetts. Hi, my name is Eric, and I'm a licensed optician and president of the Opticians Association of Vermont. Hello, my name is Jenny. I am from Massachusetts. I am a member of my state association. My name is Minerva Maldonado, currently a licensed optician here in Connecticut, licensed optician in Massachusetts, and soon to be a Florida licensed optician. Hi, my name is Julie Parsons. I'm the current president of the New Hampshire Optician Society. I'm Moses Nowla, and I'm a licensed optician from Brooklyn, New York. I'm also the social media and marketing specialist for the OAA. When I found out that Massachusetts had a state association, I immediately wanted to become involved. Throughout my school years, I was very involved in different clubs and sports and enjoyed working with other people who had similar interests as me and wanted to work towards a common goal. The answer is no. I didn't even thought I'd be in this field. I have to tell you, the way that I came across this field was pretty funny. I've been doing this job since 1993, for about 27 years. I love it, both in Massachusetts and New Hampshire. I definitely had on my horizon that I could be a store manager. Something like that was definitely in, in my line of sight, so to speak. Uh, but I definitely did not consider really being part of any kind of uh, larger state in any kind of national position. I would provide a lot of support to my organization over the last 30 years, um, providing quality education for the organization. So it was kind of a natural progression, I guess, to, to get even more officially involved. What was holding me back was my anxiety and fear of failure. I'm a perfectionist by nature. I was scared of joining because I didn't, know, I didn't know what it was, what I was supposed to do. I was just standing on the side. In the beginning, I really didn't feel like I was adequate. I felt very inadequate. I didn't feel like I had the education, the know-how, or anything as far as helping the association. Like, what, what can Hannah do? What can I do? Two things that were holding me back were the fear of not knowing anybody else in the group and thinking that I wouldn't have enough time to commit while working 40 hours a week. I'm a little bit shy, so that was what was holding me back. Uh, I know it's hard to believe I'm shy, but I was. I always looked at it as something that, that was really for people who had been involved for more years, who had more experience, who had more background, you know, people who been been involved for 20, 30, 40 years, like how was I going to have something to offer that, uh, that they didn't already see and know. I didn't think that I'd be part of a leadership position this soon in my optician career. I've been in the field for about eight years now. I was seeing that our board was running on three members instead of a full board, and I approached them after a meeting and asked them what I could do to help, and then boom, you, you ask somebody what you can do to help, and the rest is history, right? I was invited to attend the Student to Leadership Conference for the OAA in Savannah, Georgia. I met so many people and so many amazing, passionate opticians that truly inspired me to get more involved. So on the last day of the conference, I ran up to now President Debbie Bartlett, and I told her while she was lugging around her luggage, hurrying to the airport, my question to her was, tell me, how do I get more involved? It's Debbie Bartlett's speech at last fall's conference about the importance and benefits of being part of a state association. Her leadership and passion has inspired me to step out of my comfort zone. Being involved in the OAM has given me a sense of camaraderie. I enjoy talking to other opticians about the industry, and if I come across something that I'm not sure about, I know someone in the group will have some expertise and is willing to share their knowledge. So I decided to join, and I want to make a difference to pull them all in. So don't be scared of joining. You may, you may think it's a difficult thing to do. It's not at all. I felt like by getting over that initial feeling of getting stepping out of my comfort zone, that's when it really happened. I love helping others. I love our profession. And I feel like it's such a huge part of my life. I feel dedicated to every optician in the state of Vermont to help them grow, help in any way that I can, and um, most importantly, support my board. My professor, Dr. Arlen Aceto, told us about the OAA Leadership Conference. It was actually being held in 
Memphis, Tennessee in 2019. I applied, I got a grant, and I went and I always tell people that it was a life-changing experience for me. It was at this conference that I was really pushed out of my comfort zone. I met amazing students and apprentices, Dibby and Blair, who ran the breakout sessions for the students, did an amazing job, and really showed us a lot of different things in the industry and how to become leaders. And it was there that I also met my best friend and mentor, Moses, who at the time was the student and apprentice representative on the OAA board. I, I decided to, you know, go for it. I wanted the organization to be vibrant and to, to live on and um, for the good of, you know, the optical community, um, you know, to make a difference. So that's exactly what I did. I, I went for it. And people, the people who have mentored me has been incredible. Uh, it has opened my eyes. I mean, it has it has shown me that the the world is much bigger than than I than I had considered it to be. It, it's simultaneously enormous and tiny. And uh, the people who are passionate about what we do, they are out there. And to find that passion and to have it ignited uh, in myself, I I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, honestly, getting involved at that level is what made it feel more of a true career than it did a job. And it's a valuable job, but it is a fantastic career uh, being involved in optician. Um, am I enjoying it? <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. To anybody that is hesitant about becoming involved, I would say don't let the same hurdles that held me back do the same to you. The people who are part of the associations are so welcoming and friendly, and it's a great way to network and build new friendships. As for time commitments, there are so many different projects to be done, and you have the freedom to volunteer for what you can handle. So much growth as a profession and as an individual is achievable with a strong state association. It's fun to collaborate with your colleagues and to really feel like you're making a difference in your organization and in the patients that are served by um, by opticians, you know, every day. So I'm actually going to read a few lines from uh, something that was written by Marianne Williamson called Our Greatest Fear. And I think that kind of sums up anything better than I can come up with. So, as it is our greatest fear. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. And uh, it's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. That is something that I have lived, that is something that I have experienced, and I, I think that, that it's, it's about the best thing I could, that I could say about, about that. So, uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for participating in this event. I am honored to be a part of it. It's very easy. And then if you're thinking of something, don't be a bystander. Join. You joining your state association, it's nothing but planting a seed that will turn out to be a huge, beautiful tree. And our industry needs a huge and beautiful tree to grow. Whenever someone, another state is in trouble, we're here, we're here. So please, don't be afraid. John, I'm sure you're thinking of something that is not working in the industry or something that is working that you would like to share with everybody. The only way you can get that done is by joining your state association. So please, join. I'm in, I'm waiting for you. Ciao for Massachusetts.